Iceland geologically is a very interesting place, especially for studying the volcanology and uh, the phenomena associated to it, because we have the uh, mid-Atlantic ridge heat the ground from the bottom of the ocean, reaching the surface of the land at the Reykjanes Peninsula and some areas around it. It is where America and Eurasia are pulling apart this peninsula, one of the warmest areas in the Iceland. And Grindavik Rift Valley is the result of it, where we have a volcano at the moment erupting. And this is the, the crater that you see almost near the center is what I've called K1. And lava pools are formed around it. These lava pools sometimes get drained, as you can see here. Or we have a spillover, like this one that you see. The drainage of this is very important and interesting in that sense that we can see the depth of the volcano. Lava spills happen. This is from today, and I'll speed it up around 100 times. You can see it very quick. These patterns are interesting when this happens. Uh, this creates a, a drainage like this time that you can see the and the spatters happen when such a thing is visible. Uh, I believe this is where we see actually the openings of the lava tubes. When the drainage is happening, it brings down the level of the molten lava and uh, makes the flow of the lava in the form of these spatters visible to us. That's practically where I think is the opening of the lava tubes are located. And uh, I have a speed it up again here. You can see that this is really going down quickly. So you can see it very quick. Around 9 meters in my estimate. This is the depth of this uh, lava lake or lava pool or pond, as you can see here. We know that there is a lava tube there because we have actually seen the phenomenon of making it, how it was created. I'm showing you again this uh, drain draining of this lava lake. This is one of the most dramatic ones we have seen. This is where we see the flow of the lava from the edges, create cracks, and then the lava tube gets revealed. When it is not draining completely, you will not see the end of the lava tube, so practically you will not have much spatter. When, when it is visible, uh, it's because of the lava tubes, in my opinion, being exposed. These are examples, of course, from Hawaii. You can see that. These are the lava tubes on the top of a lake have formed. The crust is hard on the top of the lava lake, and people even can walk on it, volcanologists, of course. But this is a very dangerous thing. You, you may actually collapse into that because the area is not. This is how they form. We have an overflow on the edge of the lava, uh, on the edge of the crater. This is K1 exactly. And when it is uh, cooled down, what you will see is the coming out of the lava from nowhere as if as if it's leaking. It's not. It's a lava tube over the edge from the rim toward the downward direction. This is how it is created. A crust forms and hardens and then the cavity created is used by the consequent lava flows to actually in a hidden way to appear from nowhere as if. And this creates this uh, lava ponds or lava lakes or lava pools as we call it which we see now drained in a dramatic way. Sometimes the drainage is not that dramatic. You can see it here like that. It doesn't drain completely, so we don't see the end of the lava tubes visible to us. When it drains completely, you can see the ends of the lava tube or where the lava tube is actually flowing and that creates a spatter.